What's good? What's your papa with you? Thank you for clicking this video and you already know what we doing today. Now today I will be showing you guys how to do braids and beads. And if you guys don't know what that is, I will insert a picture right here. So we just gonna get right into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below because it's there for a reason of course but anyways we just gonna get right into it we're doing how to put beads on slash how to do braids so yeah just stay tuned and this is a video on my mannequin head so give it a round of applause because i haven't did a mannequin head hairstyle in probably a month so just stay tuned keep watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and click that notification button because it's there for a reason of course so we're gonna get into it period okay you guys so first things first you want to go ahead and get your beads some scissors to open it a comb a brush and some rubber bands so in this video i will make these real big and i'm trying to come up with some different areas to record but first things first we just go ahead and comb it out Take your sections, however you want to part it, go ahead. It's going to be two braids. So first things first, you want to get three sections for the braid in process. One, two, three. You get your three sections and you twist it on top of each other. And then you just twist the middle one on top of the left. Then the middle one on top of the right. The middle one on top of the left, the middle on top of the right, like that. That's just the pattern we're going with. And you braid it all the way down to the end. And I'm gonna show you guys one more time and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to put the beads on. Take three sections. One, two, three. You take the middle one over the left, the middle one over the right, or you can do three sections. Middle one over the right, middle one over the left, middle over the right, middle over the left, and just keep twisting it like that. And that's how you do a braid. And then you got your two braids. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and speed this up and finish doing the braids and come back and show you guys how to put the beads on. So stay tuned, keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below and click that notification button because it's there for a reason, of course. And we're going to get into it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to actually braid again. So if you guys missed it and don't understand, so I'm trying to get like a good angle. So you get your section, whatever you parted it out, take three sections, make sure each one is even or try to get it even. One section, two section, three section. So it should be three. Once you got that three, you take the middle section over the right, the middle section over the left, the middle section over the right, middle section over the left, middle section over the right, middle section over the left, and you just continue till you get to the end. And that is just very simple how to do a braid. And that is very simple how I do the braid. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing the speed up and just stay tuned, keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below and click that notification button because it's there for a reason, of course. Okay, you guys, so these braids are unraveling. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to put the beads on. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and open these, show y'all how to put the beads on. Okay, so I can do it with like just my hand and you just slip it right through and just pull it up and you don't want to fill it all the way to the top because once you put all the beads tied at the end and drop them you don't want it to be as tight basically I'm just sliding it through the hole and pulling it up and it should be something like that so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up and then show you guys another way and then it should be something like this so once you do that, you just take the last bead, flip this hair, 
make sure it's like a, a good length to be able to flip it but not too much enough to like cover cover up the last bead and once you cover that up it need to be over like uh, like a whole inch over once you flip it like bring it down a little bit but it should be like an inch left out so it can be able to cover it and then you can tie it at the end and then once you once you do that you just take a rubber band and you tie the end and you tie the ends just like this boom and then this extra hair it won't be noticeable because once you bring the beads down it's gonna drop right on top and it should be something like this so I'm gonna show you guys another step we go ahead and do the braiding method so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is show you guys the braiding method one more time and then add the beads so what you do is take three sections and once you got your three sections you take the middle over the right middle over the left middle over the right middle over the left and you just continue doing that middle over the right middle over the left make sure you remember that when you braid it and then you will have a braid and once you're done with that braid it should be a crochet needle inside the beads if you guys didn't get it you guys can buy it by itself and you just add the beads on this is used for beginners like if you guys don't know how to pick the beads on by itself without it you make sure you fill it up but not too much so the hair can go through you insert the hair in between the little hole and once you do that you pull it up bend it over and you just insert them on like that and that's how you do it this crochet needle is so cheap it broke off so make sure you get one that's not cheap the bees was freaking three dollars so what I'm gonna do is just hold it and show y'all one more time you insert it inside the hole once you do that you pull it up a little bit as you can see and then hold that and then just pull the bees on and you should get something like that pull one down and then put the rubber band on. So I don't know where the rubber bands went, but I'm gonna use this little scrunchy thing and tie it. So basically you just tie it where the hair at, at the end, then after that just bring the beads down and you should have something like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna just go ahead and finish the whole head and once I get towards the end and it's left like probably like two braids, I'm gonna show you guys one more time and then end out the video so make sure you like comment and subscribe down below and click that notification button because it's there for a reason of course and we just gonna go ahead and get into it and speed this up and finish and show y'all one more time so just stay tuned i hope you guys learned something and if you did go ahead and comment down below and also you can comment down what suggestions you guys want me to do next so just stay tuned keep watching and don't forget to subscribe period Okay, you guys. Okay, you guys. So I'm almost done. I'm gonna show you guys the three steps, or a couple of tips how to braid and add the beads. So what you do is take three sections, like I said in the beginning. Three. Take the middle one over the right, the middle one over the left, the middle over the right, middle over the left, and it should be a braid. And you continue that pattern like so middle over right middle over left okay and it's three sections you need okay so now the tips that you can use while adding the beads will be you can actually bend the end and add the beads yourself make sure the end is like an inch open once you bend it twist it a little bit and you can just add the beads on or you can just add it regularly. You don't have to bend it. You can just add the beads on like that. 
just add it on there. Another way you can add the beads on is with the hook, which you can get from hair store. Add these beads on there, but not all the way enough so you can have an opening here. Mine is broke because it's cheap. You add the hair through the hoop. After you add it through the hoop, you should bend it a little bit. Make sure it's like an inch open. I mean an inch out of the hair. Bend it and then add the beads on. Uh -huh. Give me a second, y'all. Once you add it through the hoop, just slide it up. Just like that. Make sure you're holding it, and then boom. And that is how you add the beads on. Now, once you get to this step, you can actually just bring down one bead, bend it over, and add a rubber band. Just tie it up. Just tie the end where you bent it at. And then once you do that, it should be like a little bit of hair left out. You could just slide that up and bring the beads down. And once you bring the beads down, it should look like this. And the, and the little strand of hair that was sticking out should be under the bead. And that is how you braid and add beads. And I'm going to show you guys one more time with the rubber band method because I have my rubber bands. I don't know where they went, but I'm going to use scrunchies to tie the end. Make sure this is like a little bit, not a lot, just enough. You tie that. And once you bring the beads down, it's the little strand of hair that's left out, it should be under the beads. Just like that. And if it's not, you can just pull it up and wrap it around the braid and then just pull it down just like that. And it should look like that. Um, so that is what I got. I don't know where the rubber band's at, but I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below and click that notification button because it's there for a reason, of course. And if you guys learned something, go ahead and comment down below like I said. And I'm so sorry I lost the freaking rubber bands. I would have showed you guys how would it look. But once I find the rubber bands, I'm going to just record it at the end. It's going to be at the end of this outro. But yeah, and you guys will see that. But basically, how to do the ends is just bring down one bead. Fold it over a little bit. Just an inch. Not too much hair. Fold it over. And then tie the rubber band around it. And then just break, bring the beads down like that. And it should be just fine. But... That is the end of this video. Don't forget, I always include pictures and videos at the end of this. And I will because I have to freaking do the ends with the rubber bands once I find a rubber band. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. And that's just on period. So peace. So this is the finishing product. I actually added the scrunchies. I could not find the rubber bands and I still can't find them. Even though I finished editing this and I cleaned up the whole room. But okay. But don't forget to comment down below if you guys liked it and if you guys learned something.